All right, well good morning y'all. We are in Florida right now. We took a like a 16 hour road trip. We're in the Pensacola area and we got in last night and it was it was pouring down rain. So we're actually fishing kind of in between a tropical storm. I don't even know what it's called, but it's gonna make, it's gonna hit landfall in Louisiana tonight and then we're gonna get some serious rain uh, from the band here tonight. So what we're doing right now is we're going on a little recon mission. The main goal of this trip is to tarpon fish. So I'm actually out here with my brother and my dad. My dad's gonna try to catch one on the fly rod as he does like every year. And me and Blake just come out here and fish out of the boat. So yeah, today is the first day we're going out. We're just gonna kind of figure things out, see what's going on. Uh, we finally got a break in the rain. It has been pouring down. But one thing we were worried about this morning was the waves out in the bay. It was, it's been blowing pretty hard, but I'm hoping that after all this weather blows through that it's gonna be really calm, the calm after the storm. So that is the hope. We're just going out right now and we're gonna try to catch some tarpon. And then this trip, I actually brought a shark rod. Well, it's not really a shark rod. It's a 6,500 live liner spin fisher with a jigging rod. Um, so I'm gonna have to make do with it. It's gonna be a workout to fight a shark But last year when we were here, I saw tons of giant bull sharks So I have high hopes for that and I guess I didn't even make a video from last year whenever we came to Florida So I'll pull those clips Alright y'all, so we are going out right now. Like I said, recon mission today. I have no idea what to expect. The weather is actually not even that bad over here. Where we're staying, the bay was absolutely disgusting. So we're gonna get going, get cranking, hopefully find some fish, and see how it goes. Alright y'all, so we just got up to the spot, and just before we get going, I just wanted to apologize. We're just kind of running and gunning today seeing what's up uh, we haven't been here in a year and like i said we come here pretty much every year now it's become like an annual trip last year was a blast as you saw in those clips we got on some tarpon and me and blake just come out here in the boat and do it ourselves so right now actually we just rolled up and we're seeing some gar but it is a little bit rough if you guys can't tell there's just some wind chop so it's making it a little bit harder to see tarpon and what we actually do is we look for rolling tarpon or stringing tarpon we're out here in a flat and there's a little island point right here and then the river mouth up here and basically what we do is post up and put on our polarized glasses and look so we're seeing some gar not any tarpon yet but we're going to keep looking around hopefully i explain that all right i'm just kind of winging this right now like i said we are figuring it out so see you guys in a minute I guess I forgot to mention the place we're at right now is like Jurassic Park super exotic last year when we were here we were catching tarpon seeing giant bull sharks giant gators were coming up next to the boat and we were seeing manatees so pretty wild place out here every time there'd be commotion at the boat like we'd be fighting a tarpon or a gar just any splash we'd see a giant shark or an alligator just pop up out of nowhere so Pretty wild, that's what's going on. We're up a river right now, just looking for any sign of fish, but man, look at this. This scenery is awesome. All right, good. let's pick up a rod and see what we can do. We have a lot of moving current. I guess the tide is coming up the river. But we have had, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just freaked a gar. Gar followed me up my first cast of the trip. Well, it 
is day two out here in the boat. Me and Blake pulled back up to the river and early this morning we actually went up in search of tarpon. Uh, however, the water quality is still pretty poor. Still chocolate milk brown. There's not much sign of tarpon. So we still got some of that wind making it hard to see them roll. Tarpon actually come up to the surface, kind of do a roll. And I guess sometimes they'll suck air and then once they go down, it kind of leaves like a boil on the surface. That's what we're really looking for. But as you can tell, it's a little bit difficult to, to look for that right now. Up the river, it was pretty desolate. We only saw, I mean, we saw, we think a couple tarpon and then the rest were a bunch of gar. So we did that for a while. And then we actually rolled back out here, looked for mullet for a while, drove some shorelines and we finally got on some. And I tell you, we got some horse mullet. So we got six or seven baits, and if you can't put two and two together, we are gonna shark fish out here. So we actually saw quite a few big bull sharks yesterday, like six, seven, eight footers possibly. So that's what we're gonna do. I got a rod ready to go. Like I said in the intro of this video, we got 6,500 on a jigging rod. So I'm a little bit undergunned. I've never fought a bull shark before. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot, and um, hopefully we can get hooked up pretty quickly. I've fished here for a couple years now, and there's no shortage of bull sharks. So pretty sketchy to think that there are giant sharks and we've even seen big alligators in here at a river mouth. Like we're at a river, not even out in the ocean. So it's pretty crazy. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get rigged up. Let's see what we can do. She's in there. Let's see if we can get some more. Bull shark bait, baby. Heck yeah. We've been having some difficulty finding some mullet. That's a good sign that we finally picked one up. Is there water in there? Oh yeah, we got a freaking net full. Really? Yep. Oh baby. Talk about some mullet right there. I got a couple horse mullet in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a few more. Get a couple to cut up for chum and then put on a big horse mullet on live. That is bull shark candy. Heck yeah, we finally found the shoreline. Yes, sir. Another good one. Is that all we need right now? We know where to get them. Open her up. How many do we got? It should be Six, one, two, three. Oh, we got six or seven. That should be a good enough right now. Yeah, I don't want to get too many in the All right. And we'll let her swim. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. He's on there. All right, y'all, so I was just laying down. We got the live liner, and something just picked up my mullet. Oh, baby. All right, you're over me. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's something good, dude. Oh. All right, y'all, clicking the live liner off. Oh, baby. Oh, shoot, it's going over. What do we got? What if it's like a redfish? That would be so cool. I mean, it doesn't feel that big. I don't even know this hook. I hope it's not a gap top. Dude, it's a giant. Oh, shoot, the anchor. Oh my gosh. I think it's a big shark, right? That might be a shark. <laughs> it, yeah, just, I just, it just woke up. Um, I might need to pull the anchor up though. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Got my work cut out for me, I guess. Oh, shit. The line keeps popping. I, that's what I was about to say. I think it's the tail. Yeah, I guess my mono wasn't long enough. 
Well, we just struck out on the first run of the day. I guess we made that leader too small. I felt the tail a little more than I want. And as soon as we started worrying about it, she snipped me off, cut me at the braid. I guess I'm gonna put like an insanely long leader, like 10 feet of uh, mono and the wires. I mean, I thought I had a decently long leader. I knew it was a little bit short. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna rig it right this time. Hopefully we can get another run. We got four more mullets, so. So uh, I was just cast netting. I wasn't really filming because I wasn't catching much, catching a whole lot of nothing. And I think I just caught a, that's a striper, ain't uh, it? Hybrid? I have no idea. I mean, okay, we're hitting some grass, but. Is it a white bass? I don't know. I've never seen one. But that's what we just caught. Look at that. <laughs> in a cast net pretty cool little fish right there what do we got what the heck we got more <laughs> what even are these stripers or or hybrids or they're bass hybrids or, they're white bass it's kind of got like a it's kind of got like a snook head slanted but then real striped body pattern what is going on all right y'all well i just did some research and Turns out those striper are indeed illegal to number one cast net and use as bait since they are game fish here in Florida. So we did get a couple good sized mullets. So we're just gonna anchor up and see if we can make something happen on those. I had to release the other ones. I just like, it was so hard to do because we had that one really good one. And I've heard that they are super good eating. So, oh well, we know where they are at least now. So we got a couple baits. We're gonna post up in a little bit different spot right here. We're trying to get in a little deeper area. The water is getting a little bit better actually. It's the wind's laying down a little or at least the waves are. Yeah, let's see if we can make good use of these baits. Tell me that ain't a good mullet right there. This isn't even the biggest one. We just caught a giant, but that's a good size to put on a hook. Live liner on. Let's see what she does. All right, we just had a big run on Blake's rod. Oh shoot, we gotta watch the anchor. Oh goodness. Oh boy. This line's slack. Feel it? See how mine's bobbing? Mine's getting pulled. Mine's getting hit. What the heck? All right, we're getting hit, y'all. It's not fighting very hard. Oh, good. He's running. He's running, dude. All right, you ready? He's running. All right, here we go. Shoot. Dang it, dude, we just had two empty runs. Oh, he's on there, he's on there. He is on there. Y'all see that? Live liner, baby. All right, all right, all right. I don't know why. No, I still feel tension. Yep, he's still on there. He came back for it. See it moving? My line's going up towards the bow. I don't know. I, don't know what they are. I have no idea what's going on. Now it's coming back. You see this? What the heck? Oh gosh. What is going on? Yeah, there's something on here. It's probably a gaff top. Oh shoot. 
Oh shit, oh shit. You got a big shot. Oh gosh, here we go again. You gotta be kidding me, you stole my fish. <laughs> I'm gonna go easy since the last one, I already feel the tail. I got up to leader though, but my leader is about 12 feet long. Oh, I didn't, I think it was a shark tail. I don't think it's a big one though. Maybe a small bull shark or a redfish. I don't know. I mean, it made a screaming run. We know that. That was so bizarre. Does it feel heavy? Yeah, but I just, I'm scared to, I mean, I got a really long leader on there. You can already see that. I just want to see it. It's definitely not a gar. No. It's acting super jittery and sporadic. So that's that, what makes me think it's a shark. Like a bull red. I mean, it could be, but just the way it's kind of jumping around. I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> All right, she's coming up. Maybe, maybe not. Or she just hasn't woken up yet. Oh my goodness. I think it's bigger than you think. Maybe so. I mean, I saw, a, I think it was a tail. Maybe. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a shark. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking. Oh my gosh. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> That is a bull shark. Look at the tail on her. Look how black that is. Get ready. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got leader. Alright, I got some hook outs. I got to fish out. I go to my hook outs. I guess I should have push the barb down these hooks because that shark just thrashed and pulled the pulled the hook house out of my hand twenty dollars down the drain if you guys want to support the patreon now's a good time no nah, i'm just kidding oh gosh yeah she thrashed and that thing was gone shark hook extraction operation starts now all right y'all we just got the hook out we finally got it done Look at this fish. First ever bull shark finally freaking landed one. Had a real long leader, dude. Look at that. Big dorsal. Big pectorals. Gosh. All right, we need to get her back in the water. Let's get a fish. All right. Talk that head today. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh gosh, she's so like sandpit. We can slide her off the back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Look at that head, dude. I gotta get this fin out. Is there a way we can get the push pull undone? All right, perfect. Oh, shh. Well, Deuces. Good release. Hell yeah, dude. Well, that worked out. Swimming away on top. Yeah. Well, she's swimming out strong. Swimming perfect. All right, well, folks, first shark of the trip. One for two, I guess. I might have stolen, may or may not have stolen Blake's shark. He had a run, had dropped it, and then my rod started acting funny. We thought she dropped it. And then I reeled up the slack, and it had done a full 180 around the other side of the boat, so. Man, and we got the hook back. She's safe on her way. Thanks for the, the hook out job, Blake. Blake came in clutch there. I got yoinked. Uh, yeah, the only way we were gonna get that hook out is we had some leverage on her and had her in the boat. $20 hook out, it's just first fish, gone. Anyway, we got a shark, so it doesn't matter, so I'm pumped. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But first shark, we might fish some more. I think we're gonna drop some more baits. We have plenty of mullet or a couple more at least. And then I guess we'll go from there.
shark we just caught was nothing. We have seen absolute behemoths in here. Like I'm talking like half the size of the boat. This boat's 19 foot. So they're in here. We just gotta find them. This place is truly like a Jurassic Park. We got all sorts of crazy. Mm. But yeah, we we have a lot more potential in here. So don't end it at there. I guess that's the next goal is get a giant, and I mean a giant. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it in the boat. I don't know if I want to, but yeah, we got, that was nothing. I've, I remember last year we had, I think it was like an eight footer, swam right up to the boat prop, 